Oh, starting today out, waiting for the printer. And shout out to everyone that said, yo, get the Dymo. On Amazon, I believe it's like 180, but on eBay, it's like 145. I'm definitely gonna purchase that within the next few days just because it's probably gonna save a lot of my time. You know, I'm sitting here printing out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Twenty two packages today. So yes, that Dymo printer will print literally instantly versus me printing with a printer using a lot of ink and just wasting a lot of time. Now for today's video, I'm not really sure exactly what I was gonna do. To be honest, when I don't really have content or when I don't have an idea of what to do, I probably don't even want to film, but I figured, you know what, we need to keep these daily videos up. You guys enjoy the daily content. Whether I hit a thrift store, whether I not, you guys still seem to like to see videos. So I figured, you know what, let's just pick up the vlog camera. I am gonna be Ubering to my friend Chris's house, then me and him are gonna both go to the post office together. He does sell vintage clothes as well. He sells like on Depop, sometimes on Instagram, mainly Depop, so he has some packages that we're going to go ship out. Then we might hit up lunch. We might hit up a thrift store on the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's, today's little video. Let's finish packing up all these packages and go to the post office. And I don't know what's Cap'n's deal, but he's about to fall off the bed. He's He's been crying nonstop. I don't know if he just wants me to hold him. I don't know if he wants me to put him on camera. I don't know. What, what do you want, guy? Do you need to go potty? Do you got to go poo-poo? I don't know what you want, little man. You're about to fall off the bed. You, you just, you, you gotta, here, get back. Get back, get back. Look how excited he is. I don't understand. It's like he wants to sit in my lap. All right, so we just dropped off a bunch of packages at the post office and we just pulled up to Salvation Army. Last time we was here, we only found one jacket. It's not really the best, but maybe we find something. So let's see what we can get. So unfortunately, we didn't find much. The only thing I did find is this vintage guest jeans denim jacket. I'm gonna pick up as a little guest hit right there. Not too bad. So I'm currently inside my buddy Chris's little inventory room and I just wanna show you guys. Now if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that my house or my inventory room used to look just like this. I had a two level tier, if actually if I have a picture I'll throw it up now, but I had a two level tier of literally hundreds and hundreds of stuff. He has a separate room just for his inventory. Not unlike me, you know me, I just have a little one shelf. But I'll show you guys quickly. Look at this. Just all stuff. Racks for days. And then he even has like vintage movies and whatnot. And I asked him, I was like, yo, I'm looking for Harley shirts. He's like, yo, I have a bunch of Harley shirts. So I figured, look, we actually picked these out. So Sneaker Con is coming up Fort Lauderdale this Saturday. So I figured, hey, this will be perfect. We have the old school Harley Davidson Fort Lauderdale. Because actually somebody bought the other Fort Lauderdale one that I was going to plan on bringing. This is from 1997. We have this new age, The Rock. I just figured it would be a cool, you know, nice graphic or whatnot. We have the 1998 Miami, Florida, 95th anniversary. And then we have another Harley Davidson, Fort Lauderdale. And I think I'm also going to try to grab this one. This one's a newer one, Harley Davidson, Boca Raton, Florida with the eagle on it, Florida. And I'm kind of going to just dig, see if I find something that maybe he would want to sell me that I can flip to you guys or bring to Sneaker Con. You know, he definitely has a bunch of inventory, so he's always trying to sell. But I'll quickly show you guys, you know, some things that he has. So we have the old school Miami Dolphins, big puffer jacket. We have some crewnecks, Mickey Ink, Ferrari, Fila, about three things of Marlboro jackets. Old school Florida Marlins, Windbreaker. This one's actually really nice. I might try to grab this from him. Depends how much he wants. We're gonna put that to the side, guys. Let's see what else we got. Speedo, Calabasas, a yellow windbreaker. There's just so much stuff. Polo Jeans Co. What is this? Perry Ellis with the 3M. Nautica spell out t-shirts Supreme We have another hill figure old school hill figure Oh you guys remember this we bought this together We actually I got this with Chris we found out TJ Maxx Great Britain just tons of stuff and then he has some jerseys over here you guys know I know literally nothing about sports obviously I do know about the Dolphins Dolphins crew neck 
Miami Heat touchdown. Actually, I think I gave this to him. A bunch of jerseys. Some Nike's shoes as well. I might see how much he wants for this. Eh, maybe not. Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins. Just stuff everywhere. Hill figure athletic gym shorts. The Hill figure little hit right there. Hill figure athletics. Tons of collared shirts as well. Me, I don't really buy collared shirts because for me personally, they don't really sell that well. Uh, back in the day, I used to buy a lot of collared shirts, if you guys remember, but it's just people like t-shirts, you know? T-shirts are a lot easier. Damn, look how crazy this print is. T-shirts usually sell a lot better than the collared shirts for sure. This is a pretty sick Tommy Jeans, authentic little long sleeve. Hits all over. Tommy Jeans, the big H. Probably looks about a size XL. Kind of made a pile. We also got this Star Trek, double sided, 1993. Old school Kappa, like navy shorts. And then on the inside, little hits. It has that little red with the logo. Kappa logo right there. Little hits right there. Might grab these, not too sure. They are a size large. Damn, I got hyped at first. I really thought this was the old school vintage double sided Selena, but it's just a reprint retro. Single sided. Crazy though. Got the old school 1996 Mountain in like the earth tones green with the tribal Indian Panther. Getting ready to stab a beast to lunch on. Got another mountain shirt. We got the koala bears. Just having some love. Oh, we definitely have to grab this one. So this one's on an XL, but honestly it looks like it'll be a 2XL. We have the American flag with the bald eagle. This is an old school mountain on like a tie-dye blue. This is a pretty sick Miami Dolphins shirt. With like the South Beach in the background with the aquarium on the bottom. Old school Hard Rock Cafe. I love this design. I like the Phoenix, Arizona with like the blue sky with the sun and the logo with the birds. I think the shirt's so sick. Reprint on the Keith Herring, the best buddies. It's on uh, what kind of tag? Like a seaport tag. So it's fairly new. Look at this Simpsons. Clown. <laughs> what year is this from? Doesn't even say. Oh, I might say on the bottom. Uh, 2001. Tons of shoes. Got a good amount of pile. Not sure what I'm going to grab or what he'll sell me, but I definitely will check it out. Let's see. There's palm stuff. Why do you look so comfy? Look at you all comfy. Sleeping on the pillow and everything. On the polar bears, too. You look comfy, guy. You look comfy. Old man. You're an old man. Old man. So I just got back from my friends. I ended up getting seven t-shirts. He didn't want to let go of the Marlins Windbreaker and some other things like the Kappa shorts, which I only understand. He's, he resells himself. Again, he does sell on Depop, so I figured, you know. Are you crying, little guy? I'm just trying to do my outro. I'm trying to do my outro when you're crying. I'm trying to do my outro when you're crying. I know. I know. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some bubbles? Excuse me, sir. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some pebbles? So he does sell at Depop, so I, I totally understand. But I am going to quickly throw the clothes that I got in the wash. And unfortunately, right now, it is 8.30, which means you guys won't be getting a video for today, which is Tuesday. Um, I can quickly edit this, but by the time I get it processed and edited and everything, it's probably going to be up around 10 p.m. And unfortunately, I just feel like that's kind of late, so I will be uploading this Wednesday. But with that being said, I'm just going to continue kind of the video since I don't have to upload it until tomorrow. So I'm going to throw these clothes in the wash. I'm going to do a nice load of laundry uh, with the denim jacket, the few shirts. I'm going to feed Captain because Captain's freaking out. He's hungry. He's He keeps crying. He, he wants some food. So I'm going to quickly do that, and I'll show you guys the finds after it gets out of the washer and after I feed Captain. So the clothes just got out of the dryer. I just fed Captain. Now let's quickly show you guys. Now if you guys are interested in anything, everything I show you guys will be listed down below, emcvlogs.com. Buy yourself something nice. Buy your friend something, buy it as a gift, buy whatever it is. 
every purchase helps support make these daily videos so I appreciate every single one of you so to start off you probably have a size small Harley Davidson 1998 this is the 95th anniversary t-shirt then we probably have like a XL 2XL the old school vintage mountain you could tell by the paper tag right there made in USA the USA flag and the bald eagle right there standing on the rock and like a tie-dye blue colorway and like the tie-dye earth green colorway we have the Indian with the little spear and the panther in the back on the rock this is from 1996 as well and this is probably about an XL I did make a tie-dye t-shirt similar to this color but I actually thrifted this this is a vintage made in the USA uh, trends t-shirt tie-dye and this is probably about a size medium it has a little paint stains but honestly I think it gives a character it kind of blends in with the shirt we did pick this up, 1993 Star Trek t-shirt. This is the back of the shirt with the huge uh, graphics with the Enterprise right there, the date, 1993. And then on the front, we do have the Star Trek right there. This is on a vintage Tolex. It says size large. Now next are going to be a few Harley Davidson shirts. You guys know I've been loving these Harley Davidson shirts. And honestly, they've been selling. You know, a lot of people were complaining that I didn't buy a lot of the shirts that I showed you at that resale store because they were charging like $8. And they're like, Emilio, I'll spend $20. So, you know, I'll, I can start getting nice Harley shirts. Now these, for example, are only going to be $10, $15. They're not going to be expensive. But when I do go back to that place and they have like nicer Harley shirts, like old, old school, big logos, whatever, I will pay up for it and just put them for a higher price. As you guys know, I like to keep my prices pretty low between $10 a t-shirt. Sometimes it is $14 a shirt. Sometimes it is $24 a shirt. It really depends. But honestly, even at $24, you're still spending a lot less than you would if you were to go to any other vintage store or resale store. You'd probably spend about $40 to $60 on a vintage shirt. So just keep that in mind when uh, you're looking at my prices. So this is a size large. We have the Harley Davidson Hey Fat Boy. And on the back, it does say Rolling Thunder, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is a 1997 Harley Davidson. I believe this is a size XL. Oh, it says size large, but to be honest, it could be a size XL. But remember, I do put measurements on every single listing just so that way you know if it actually fits you or not. So just check the listing down below and you'll uh, be able to see if it fits you. So we have the Harley Davidson and then this is another Fort Lauderdale, but this is a nice colorful. You have the beach with the sunset. Really nice. This is a 2005 Harley Davidson, and this is a size large. Probably could fit a medium though, looks pretty thin. And then on the back, Boca Raton, which is a city in Florida. And then obviously the Florida symbol. Sneaker Con is this Saturday. I will be there with a table with a bunch of vintage stuff. Basically everything that's on my website that does not sell, plus a lot more. I'll probably have two, three racks, uh, some shoes, so if you're local to Fort Lauderdale, South Florida, Miami, make sure you come out. It's going to be a sneaker con. It's going to be a big event. I'm thinking thousands of people are going to turn up. And this is probably the perfect merch, you know. I'm going to have t-shirts starting at $5 there. So literally you can't go wrong. Bring $20, you can get four shirts. Or I will have some keychains for sale, $20 a piece. Next, we do have a size, probably a medium, in the old school camo. Little hoodie right there with the fleece liner. And the grail or the find of today is the Vintage Guess Denim Jacket. This is a size medium, has a little Guess hit right there. 100% authentic, size, size medium, old school. And if I had to guess, this is probably from the 80s, 90s. I'm not exactly sure when this specific date, but it is very nice. You can see the Guess hit right there on the little buttons, and then that triangle really does, the, really does it. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want a keychain, this is probably the last two days. SneakerCon is Saturday, and I'm bringing whatever keychains I've left to sell there, and I most likely will sell out there. So if you guys want a keychain, make sure you go down, link below, $20 each. Also, check out, I have about 100 items listed on my website, a lot of vintage items, t-shirts, $10, $14 plus shipping. Check it out, link below, emcvlogs.com. I appreciate everyone that keeps placing orders. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. for another vlog, and don't forget, guys, let's get it.